Welcome learners! Today's topic is for grade 7 mathematics, quarter 3, week 1. At the end of this tutorial, the learner will be able to represent point, line, and plane using concrete and pictorial models. You are watching Tutormage! an example. So, itong heels nitong sapatos, it can represent a line. While, yung tip nitong heel na to, yung kulay black, yan, it can represent a point. Itong lapis naman, the tip of this one, at yung eraser niya, can represent a point. While the length of this pencil can represent a line. Itong pad na to, same as well to the pencil, yung kanyang tip, yan, both ends, can represent a point. While the length of this one can represent a line. Ang table na ito. So, ang table na ito, yung nasa taas, yung tinatawag nating topping, can represent a plane. So, yung kanyang mga paa, yan, yung kanyang sides, can represent a line. And the tip of that one, yung kanyang tip sa paa, at yung kanyang, ito, itong mga edge dito, they can represent a point. Ang whiteboard na sinusulatan ng ating mga guro, ito, itong part na to, can represent a plane. Ito namang mga nandito sa kanyang mga side, yan, yung border niya, can represent a line. While, yung tip dito or the edge, yung mga edge, edge na yan, tapos yung dito sa baba, yung paa niya, yan, yung tip or yung roller, can represent a point. Ngayon, naunawaan mo na ba kung ano ang mga point, line, and plane sa yung paligid? Now, it's your turn. Comment below examples of objects that represent a point, line, and a plane. Like and subscribe to Tutor Meds. Have